How to ship snake plant via mail. Superb and amazing tips for you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Sending plants over the mail requires careful packing, as well as acclimating the plant and providing enough water for it to live many days. Plants that are moved to hot climates or throughout the winter can benefit from some insulation. You can utilize the USPS or any of the shipping providers that best suit your needs. In any case, you can learn how to box them to ensure a safe arrival and minimal breakage. The most significant components of shipping plants by mail are plant preparation, packing, labeling, selecting a shipping firm, and speed. Removing the plant from the soil and brushing off any excess soil is the first step in the preparation process. Wrap the roots in a bundle of moist paper towels and place them in a plastic bag. If you're going on a long trip, mix a slurry with a couple of tablespoons of polymer moisture crystals and water, then apply it to the roots before putting it in the plastic bag. Plant ties, rubber bands, or twist ties can be used to secure any stray growth to prevent it from breaking. When mailing garden plants, choose a strong box that can withstand rigorous handling. Also, find one that is just big enough for the plant to fit within, leaving no room for it to move about while being handled. Use bubble wrap to protect the pot and the roots if you're sending potted plants over the mail. Put a label on the outside that says, live plant, and perishable, so that they know to be gentle with it. If you ship regularly, have the plants picked up by a service so they can be kept cool until they are ready to ship. Remember that, depending on the service you select, many shipping providers do not deliver on Sundays and potentially not on Saturdays. If you pack your plants properly, they will arrive ready to brighten someone's day.